they say that seeing is believing. But what if I told you that seeing is more than that? What if seeing is the foundation of life as we see it? A professor here at OSU Newark, um, Dr. Chris Taylor, said that something along the lines of seeing is a basic skill of art. Without seeing, the world becomes dull. And an easy and peaceful way to utilize your sight, what you use for that, is painting. Painting is a simple medium for artistic expression. Though a lot of people think it can be really complicated. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit about some of the basics that you may not necessarily think about, but should be able to help you if you want to take up painting. Um, so let's talk about some methods of applying paint, um, right? So the biggest part about it is your materials. Um, let's talk about types of paper. So I personally like watercolor. Um, Watercolor is meant to be able to hold a bunch of liquid, kind of almost like a spongy paper. Um, it's thick. It has, usually can have a tooth or texture. Um, and it can withstand a lot of weight after drying versus like your computer paper, right? I have a little folded up piece of paper. Even if you fold it up to be a little bit thicker, um, it may not show through the back, but it's very thin and can tear apart. Um, so you need to keep in mind what type of paper you're using. Your types of paint are important as well when you're painting. Now there are many different types. There is oil, there's acrylic, um, there's watercolor, um, and each one has a different method for using it. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about acrylic paint. Um, acrylic paint is kind of like an in-between texture. Usually you can find it in both like a more watery version or a little bit thicker. Um, but a good tip to keep in mind is don't water down your paint, especially acrylic. When you do that, you break down the pigment um, and it becomes very grainy. The only one you should really be using water for is watercolor. Watercolors are meant to be mixed because it activates the pigment. It's all just a huge chunk of pigment so that when you add your water, it becomes like a binder um, that can be spread lightly across the page. One more important thing to kind of keep in mind for the basics of painting is the type of brush you're using. Now, when you think of brushes, you might think of your little Crayola watercolor ones, the kind of wiry brushes. Um, I have one of these that are kind of similar. It's a pretty hard brush. The bristles are not super soft. They're kind of um, pretty rough, not the same like plasticky ones. Um, but these rough, these rougher brushes add a lot of texture. So I'm going to go ahead and dip this dry brush and paint to show you on my watercolor paper. So we have this dry brush, right? And the dry brush, it makes kind of dry strokes here. You can see the little grainy texture that comes from it. Part of that's also the brush being dry, but you also have to keep in mind that rough texture of the brush is also included in that as well. Um, so keep that in mind too. I'm going to go ahead. Another good tip is to always put your brushes in water. You don't want your brushes to dry with paint on them. That will ruin your brush. You won't be able to use it. Now here, this one's a little longer, but, um, that has nothing really to do with the, um, the hairs on it. It's actually really, really soft. Very, very soft. It may not pick up too much on a camera, but the softer bristles add for a more smooth, smooth transition. So I'm going back in that same, same acrylic paint, still pretty dry, but as we're going to show, 
it's a lot smoother. It takes the pigment of the brush and more fluidly spreads it around. So it adds a little bit more to it as well. I'll go ahead and put that aside. Now, this can seem a lot easier than it is, but of all things, why should you paint? What makes it really peaceful? Well, actually there's been studies done about it and some of you may have heard, but there is something called art therapy. Now art therapy is kind of like what you'd think it is. It's a bunch of different mediums where people will sit down and maybe they'll paint a picture about how they feel or what they're going through. And um, there's actually a study done on nurses. So we all know about the difficult part of nurses of how stressful their workforce is. Um, but there's a study done on the effectiveness of this type of therapy on nurses. Um, and the study um, done by a bunch of different researchers, um, the first quoted was Zhang, would be, um, it reduced a lot of anxiety, reduced perceived stress, and actually decreased depression, which is amazing. So to conclude, through the method of how you paint and what materials you use, it can be so much easier to create an artwork with emotion and passion or simply to paint for the fun of it with quiet serenity. Painting and other forms of art therapy that come along with it um, they just prove that the space and reflectiveness um, created in making artwork is beneficial to your mental health. So give it a try. It won't knock you.